<laughs> a ton of money. <laughs> yeah, you're right, dude. It's so much money. <laughs> <laughs> It's been, I guess, if I'm looking for a positive, it's that I was forced to stay home for the first entire year of my daughter's life. And I think that we really, you know, um, created a bond in that way. And I, I do wonder what it, you know, what it would be like, my relationship with her would be like if we were touring during all of that. And so I'm, I'm appreciative of that and the timing. Josh and I have worked on music on the road uh, a lot. Uh, it's it's been a part of our DNA is playing shows and writing songs and releasing songs and then playing shows after releasing songs and to press pause on the concert part of it the touring part of it um, definitely impacted um, our rhythm but like I said before I, I think that I, I feel like the songs still want to exist in a live setting um, they they're not written to, to only be uh, enjoyed um, alone. I feel like the songs are still, even with live music, um, still far away. Uh, it's, they, they still long to, to live in that environment. I mean, nothing really crazy happened that day. Um, I did feel, uh, I, I felt, I felt a uh, nervous feeling running down a busy street with a, uh, with a giant gun in my hand. Um, even though it was fake and, uh, and there was just a kind of a net thing attached to it. Um, that was a pretty, I've, I've never really done something like that. So, uh, that was interesting. Yeah. The net gun thing, uh, they, the people, the, the people in charge of stunts for that video didn't want me to be shot with the net gun. So in fact, Josh shoot, shoots the camera and then they throw a net on me. So it's kind of like a cheat. Uh, but as soon as the video was done, I took the net gun home with me and I shot my little brother and he was fine. So I think we could have, we could have gotten away with it pretty easily. Lyrically, it's, it's a commentary on how days of the week start to not matter anymore when, you know, when you, um, uh, when you take away, uh, your schedule and it can feel a little, um, I don't know, overwhelming at times went and so that song's kind of talking about that <laughs> a ton of money <laughs> yeah you're right dude it's so much money <laughs> yeah i didn't really know what that meant exactly until i think my mom mentioned it to me that she looked up what that meant and there's only i don't know like 40 or 50 songs ever to have done that and so to be in that category is pretty amazing when you first discover a band, that kind of feeling that you have and the tie emotionally. And so understanding that, you know, I, I think already um, can make it pretty difficult and, and definitely put pressure on anything that you release after that, because um, to those people who have uh, discovered you and invested kind of emotionally on that level, uh, anything you put out after that is going to be judged a lot more critically. And I know that, um, from experience uh, being on the other end and seeing some of my favorite bands that that I you know I've I've fallen in love with a with an album and then albums that they put out after that I'm I'm always just like man it just that first album was just something really incredible um, but those you know those those bands that that you know Tyler and I have always loved that continue to put out music um, you can you you can just tell that. They love music and they love creating um, and they love putting together an album and, and telling stories. Um, those albums, the more that we listen to them, I think the more we fall in love with those as well. And to go on a journey with a band is, is something really special. So while I do think that there is some pressure because we understand um, you know, that, that special connection with people's first time listening to our band, we because we're still very connected to our hometown there's a lot of people we rub shoulders with that are asking you know I want to start music how do I do that how do I get into I mean many many of you are in positions where you uh, you know someone who maybe wants to get into music journalism and sometimes it's hard to explain exactly how to recreate your own path um, and so it's very difficult to lay out 
an equation, do this, this, and this, and you'll, you know, find success. Um, and uh, and so I don't know. I think that Josh and I, whenever we, we whenever we meet um, people who are interested in pursuing music, the only real thing we know to tell them is that they have to work hard. You have to work very hard. It's um, it's a grind. It's something you have to, you have to, you know, you have to eat music, sl- you know, drink music, sleep, listen to music. It just has to be everything about you in order to do it. We really do miss you. And wow, thanks for thanks for listening to our music. I think it's still it's still wild to Tyler and I that people people listen to our music uh, you know across the world and in different you know different countries and to hear that is really cool and exciting and definitely makes us want to come and see you guys soon and so um, I would say thank you and continue to you know stay safe and healthy and um, and hope that concerts come back soon and we hope to see you. But on Saturday, Saturday.